All right, so I have a big problem with my funnel agency right now, and there's actually some good news and some bad news to this. And specifically for you, if you're a funnel builder, funnel agency, freelancer, and you want more clients, then this is actually great news for you. But for me, it's not as good because I'm losing a lot of money right now, and I'll explain why in this video. So when I started my funnel agency, the number one thing that I wanted was inbound leads and clients coming to me so I could work full time and just make like six figures per year, live a simple life, travel where, whenever I want to, just be able to build funnels from anywhere, from my home, from my office. I've been able to do that. I've been lucky enough to be able to do that for years now. And one of the problems right now, which I understand this is a good problem to have, is that literally this moment, right now, there's people in my inbox, like they're asking for my portfolio, for my pricing. I even have referrals, people saying, hey, uh, they introduce me in emails, in group chats, and they say, Gusten, can you build this funnel for me? Can you do this project for my friend? And even if the pay is like 3,000, 5,000, I have to say no. Now you might be thinking like, why? Why don't you just like hire people? Well, there's more to the story than just like building funnels and growing a funnel agency for me. For you, that might be the goal. But for me, I remember when I started getting lots of clients online, people would ask me like, how do you get all these clients? There's this quote, I'm sure I'm uh, messing it up, but it goes something like, Whenever you reach some sort of success, make sure you send the elevator down and help other people up. And even if I don't think that having like a multi six figure business is super successful compared to like, you know, eight figures and beyond, I still believe in the concept of always like giving back, always helping other people. And, and yes, I make money from doing that as well, but I could make just as much, you know, we make any, anywhere from like 20 to 30K per month in my business right now, me personally. And so I could make more to just scale one thing and you always make less when you do like too many you know, different things. But for me, it's also like the per personal fulfillment of like helping my friends build a funnel agency, helping people like this online community and, and teaching and, and it's just fun for me. And so I love making these videos for an example. But the dilemma there is like, you can't do everything and do them really well, right? Like if you do, you know, you spread yourself to 10, it's gonna be hard to master any of them. So recently, as I get all these clients coming to me and I can't take their money, even if it's like thousands and thousands, and I've been lucky enough to get a huge deal recently, the biggest deal ever, where I'm working so much on so many funnels for one client. And then I've been, for people coming to me, I've said, look, I can't do this right now, but I can ask my community, my private students that I coach and I teach and full-time funnel designer, I can get them to send you uh, their portfolio, you can pick some of those. The reason I'm making this video is not just for you to take those leads, and yes, obviously that helps. As a bonus, you get more leads, but I want you to imagine something for your business. Because as you, let's say you wanna start a funnel agency, you wanna be a full-time freelancer, work from home, and maybe you don't need to be a, a millionaire, uh, I was talking to a friend recently, he said, I don't have to make a million dollars. I just wanna make enough so I can work from home and like do what makes me happy. I think a lot of people feel that way. And so if you want to have a business, I want you to consider also what type of business you're starting. I saw someone recently say, you know, they invested all their money into e-commerce products to build up their inventory. And then, you know, they didn't make any sales or little sales. And so left with all this inventory and the sales that they got was almost no profit margin. Like even if you sell, let's say $100 per day, that's like 20 to $30 in profit, which it's not a lot if you do the math. And so that's why I love service-based where you make, you know, four clients uh, per month, 2,500 per client, that's 10,000 per month, right? Sometimes that's gonna be 8,000 a month. And then, you know, next month can be nine, 12,000, five, 11 but consistently, you know, on average, you do like 10K per month. I think that's a good business model to have if you wanna work from home, but, and, and very important, but, make sure that you're not choosing a niche that is shrinking, but you're choosing a niche that is growing. So I remember reading the book, uh, $100 million offers by uh, Alex Formosi, and he talked about the number one problem people make is they go into a market and try to sell something to, 
a crowd that is not hungry. It's like selling hamburgers to a, a crowd that is not hungry. Even if the, the hamburger is really good, if they already ate, like they're gonna be full. But if you sell hot dogs at a sports game and you know the crowd is starving and you're the only person there, uh, even if the hot dog isn't perfect, they're gonna buy it, you're gonna sell out. And so I look at the marketplace and I say, what's the one niche? If you just wanna have a bulletproof niche that's super profitable, which one would you go with? And I personally, I feel very lucky to have picked this industry a long time ago. And I tried multiples to see kind of which one I like. But for me, I think it's important to have fun because otherwise, what's the point of making money if you don't have fun? And then also something that's growing, not shrinking. So it's almost like this flywheel where the more people who come into this, the, the, the faster it's going to spin and the more clients you can get which is the e-learning industry, online courses, coaches, virtual events, books, where we sell education and uh, changing people's lives. It's the transformation market. If you look at the traditional, it's transaction market. And now we got transformation market where we help people and we get paid for that. So, okay, if you don't have a business right now and maybe you don't feel like you're super skilled in any particular area, you can just build the sales process, meaning the sales funnel, their online sales machine, and you can charge upfront. You can charge a percentage. You can charge a discounted upfront plus percentage, and you can build this portfolio of 10 clients who paid you 2000 plus 10% of all sales. And because they have high profit margins on their education, they can, uh, you know, they can afford that. And so you can build this massive revenue stream and portfolio of companies where you take a percentage in, in their funnels because you learn how to build funnels, write copy and set everything up so it's running 24 seven for the client. And I know when I say this, a lot of people will see this, this opportunity and take advantage of it. And some people will be like, well, if everyone chooses that industry, isn't it gonna be crowded? Let me just paint you a picture here. A $1 trillion e-learning and education industry, let's say 10% of those need a funnel, right? Let's say just 10% of that. What's 10% of a trillion? And now let's look at people who are actually building funnels right now. Like we're talking thousands of people, not even millions of people. And, and the revenue coming in is not in the billions, but in the trillions in the next coming years. And so we're already at what, $300 million of a, an industry. And more and more people, like you look at Asia, India, US, Europe, pe like people are switching to online learning more and more. And people are learning, deciding to learn a specific skill and apply it to a workplace instead of just going and learning one specific education. So again, the opportunity is there. And I think if you just look at your small circle and you say, well, this person and this person is building funnels, so it's saturated. No, like this is just the beginning. It's like as if you were a software owner, you know, when, when internet was created, that's how early you are to the funnel space. And so we're just getting started. And so I want you to please consider if you're starting a business, instead of investing thousands into e-commerce products, instead of buying a, you know, a machine, an offline machine to, to launch a local business and spend thousands of dollars, take a huge loan, create like a high uh, rent or buy a huge building, Consider something that is freelance based, 100% profit margins, and you just charge per project, which means that your income ceiling isn't per hour. It's based on project. And so as you get more knowledgeable, you can charge more and you can go from a thousand per funnel to 5,000, you know, slowly. So like 2,000, 3,000. And in a year from now, you can have a business that pays you six figures. You can have in three months as well, depending on how much you know, you implement from the information that you acquire. So I just want to put out this video, no pitch, nothing. I just want to say, I have this dilemma and I decided to share this because I can't take on any more clients. I know other people who, who are there in the same spot. It's super hard to find good funnel builders. So those of you who feel right now, like I could do that. If this person can do it, if this person can do it, why not me? I used to ask me, myself the same question when I saw people on stage getting awards for a million dollars. I was like, that's, you know, that person is just like me and I'm even more hungry. So I'll just stay consistent. I might not be as smart, but I will outwork and I will invest in myself and I'll take action and eventually I'll get there. 
And slowly, as I look at my revenue, it's going up step by step. And it's brick by brick, a little by little, like day in and day out, is what's gonna get me to a million. I think the same for you as well.